Hey guys, what is up? It is your girl Samo Sharice here. So for this video, I'm working with Ali Pearl. Sorry if you hear my heater in the background, it's kind of loud, but I wanted to show you guys my updated plucking technique. As you can see here, it is not bleached at all. So we're gonna go ahead and show you step-by-step step how to do that. This is how inside of the wig looks. I like to always show you guys that, um, just so that you guys know for your own knowledge. So to get started, I'm going to be using the BW2 powder as usual and 40 developer. Usually I use 30, but because I want this process to go a little bit quicker, I'm going to go ahead and use this because I've been using that lately. I'm going to do two full scoops of the BW2 powder, okay? Two full scoops. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the 40 developer and I'm going to start off with doing one scoop first like one full scoop of it fill to the top and then I'm gonna go ahead and just mix it around and see if I like the way it looks now this is too crummy this is never gonna you know lay on your wig nice and smooth like how it should so I'm gonna go ahead and add half a half of this scoop into the bowl okay if you need to add a little bit more you can but we don't want it to be too watery now, if it's too watery, it's gonna seep through, it's gonna bleach the roots of the hair. So you're gonna have blonde roots and black hair. We don't want that. It should be the consistency of toothpaste, as you can see. Okay, so this is perfect. Um, it's nice, it's thick enough, and but not too thin, you know what I'm saying? So next, I'm gonna go ahead and just hold the wig. I like to, you know, use my thumb pointer and my middle finger and just kind of hold it in a nice sturdy position. Um, sorry, my arm is in focus and not the actual wig cap, but you get the point. <laughs> and we're just gonna go ahead and just paint down, um, slightly pressing into the wig. Don't press too hard because the more harder you press, it is going to seep onto the roots. And remember, we don't want that. The whole point is to really bleach the knots, okay? Now with 40 developer, you have to watch this, okay? This is not something that you can just literally sit there and walk away. With 30 developer, sometimes with some wigs, you might need 15 minutes or 20 minutes, depending on how good the quality of the wig is. With 40, you pretty much only need four, 10 minutes, okay? Or less, depending on the knots and how quick they bleach, okay? So if you're, not familiar with bleaching then definitely check out my older tutorial where I, I am using 30 developer and I'm explaining thoroughly but again this is my updated technique and I am using 40 developer so it works so much more quicker but you have to be careful this stuff can change within seconds and again you don't want to cause harm or damage to your wig or not even harm or damage you don't want to create more of a mess um than what you're really trying to do okay because then you'll have to go back and paint the roots and it's a whole hot mess after that so now i'm going to go ahead and shampoo this wig now when you're bleaching the knots guys make sure you shampoo the heck out of the wig you want to make sure the residue the bleach is off of the hair because if not it will have this nasty residuey feel and you'll have to end up going back into washing it so just do like maybe two shampoos really scrubbing it and then one condition Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and just pluck the wig. This is the side that is plucked. Um, and I honestly, I'm using mousse for this wig because I ran out of setting foam. And I did this part nice and plucked. Now I have an updated plucking technique video that you guys might um, like. Uh, if you do wanna see that, uh, that's how I ended up plucking. I use the same exact method and technique for plucking um, this wig. So definitely <laughs> um check that out but i kept it really simple i didn't want to take out too much hair um so i only really plucked just a small natural amount and then i did some baby hairs and then you're gonna see me on the other side just like you know plucking a little bit more so this is the end result of the what is this the left side the left side now i'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys a quick sped up version of me doing the right side Okay, so next we have the wig. Um, I already flat ironed it. Did I flat iron it? Yeah, I did. I flat ironed and I blow dried it. Sorry, <laughs> my mistake. Um, I didn't add a headband on this. I kind of just used the adjustable 
parts that came on the wig already and put it on the back and just tighten it as tight as possible on the back of the wig and then here in this part of the video you're gonna see me just styling the wig um, I did use mousse again use setting foam because sometimes mousses mousses mousse <laughs> mousse can be a little bit too um, firm depending on which brand that you have so if you don't have a brand that has extra hold and definitely use it in place of setting foam but if you have one that really makes your hair crunchy um maybe don't use that <laughs> find another alternative which would be setting foam I wanted to perfect my middle part. Now, I love Ali Pearl. I've been working with them for quite some time. Sometimes I feel like they're lace, though. I, th I feel like the lace on the actual scalp does need a stocking cap underneath because it's not as bright. And that's kind of annoying and for me. Um, but, I mean, you can always fix that, like how I just did with putting foundation on my part. So it's not really a crazy, crazy, crazy issue. As long as it's not gray or green. That's all that matters, honey. Okay, <laughs> so here I am put on a stocking cap. You guys know I hate a stocking cap so for me to even be doing this right now is uh, a miracle <laughs> but I don't mind it if it's like this I just hate gluing it molding it and all that crap so if you were to do this properly you can see that's how it would look underneath but I'm not gonna be doing a side part so I wasn't really focused on that next I'm gonna go ahead and use my helmet curling iron love 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 this thing it's amazing um, I did a video with it I bought it from Amazon I discovered it maybe like three or four years ago so here I am using it again <laughs> It gets really hot super quick though and there's five different um sizes that it comes with so you can always change it out it's interchangeable and yeah i was loving the silkiness of this hair like it was a different kind of silk i didn't dye it jet black or anything like that um fun fact for the parts that are like just not leaving us flat i just put set uh hairspray on it and just really press it down and just added a little bit more of the foundation onto my scalp. I'm not gonna lie, I was highly impressed. I was actually really impressed by this entire wig. Um, the fact that I literally had somewhere to go after I recorded this video and did this entire thing, including blow drying it, because <laughs> I hate blow drying wigs. I usually let it air dry, but I was going somewhere. So the fact that I did this within an yeah. hour 30 minutes is actually amazing because I love the end result. But I think what made this look really natural was the actual lace on this because it was a brown color. It wasn't like a typical that weird white color. It was a nice brown color that kind of melted into my skin. So that helped a lot. Um, again, a very neutral way of doing the baby hairs and plucking goes a long way. You don't have to always over pluck. When you over pluck sometimes, you have to put more work into it. So absolutely loved it super impressed this hair was super long all the information will be down below and i'll see you guys in my next video definitely check out the information down below as far as um the wig specs the lengths and everything thanks for watching this guys bye